Welcome back. This time we're talking about Smurfs, The Lost Village, the latest adaptation of the classic 80s cartoon series, which in turn was based on a comic series. Now to say I've never read the Smurfs comics, but as a child of the 80s, I did watch the heck out of the original cartoon. I'm not going to say I'm a huge Smurfs fan, but it's one of those shows that just sort of sticks with you, and I have fond memories of watching the show as a kid. Of course, we had two live-action CG hybrid films um, back in 2011 and 2013, if I'm not mistaken, and I didn't watch either of those because it just didn't seem to be in the spirit of the Smurfs. I mean, we've had other live-action hybrids like Garfield and... Um, Scooby-Doo and the Chipmunks, but all of those were actually set in the real world. The Smurfs was, were set in this sort of fantasy realm, and there didn't seem to be a huge reason why they should be sent through a portal into New York City and Paris. Um, I just, I never got that. Um, just was never interested in those movies. So when I heard that they were making another film, I assumed that that was going to be the case with this one as well. Um, and I was pleasantly surprised to see that this was essentially a reboot and taking the franchise back to its animation roots. And in my opinion, that was a great move because I actually really enjoyed this movie for what it is, which is a family animated feature to, you know, go out and enjoy with your kids. And in many ways, it felt like an episode of the original show, which is sort of the film's biggest strength as well as one of its weaknesses, because overall it does feel a little lightweight. There's there's, there's not a lot of amount of depth to it. There's some emotion, there's some character development, um, good, good action and some fun humor and those kind of things. But as an overall story, it is a little light, but it's also the Smurf, so I don't think we need a gritty retelling of the Smurfs. We don't need, you know, sort of the potty humor Shrek style of the Smurfs. We just need a quality story um, and have have it, you know, become a fun time. And that's what this movie is. A lot of the story focuses on Smurfette, who is the only female Smurf that we know of. The rest of the Smurfs are all guys, and their names are synonymous with their particular aptitude. There's a Brainy Smurf and Hefty Smurf and Clumsy Smurf and a plethora of others like Nosy Smurf and Karate Smurf and Table Eating Smurf. Yeah, not everyone can be a winner, but essentially this story picks up where Smurfette and our three other leads, which are Hefty, um, brainy and clumsy they discover this map that might lead them to what could be a lost village of smurfs they do ultimately discover this other village and there's one particular thing that's very different about these smurfs and it's no it's not their color um, a lot of the trailers have already spoiled it but if you don't know i don't want to really spoil it myself so i'm going to leave it at that um, but th again this story is is sort of lightweight but there are some emotional things there's some nice messages um to be had and honestly i just think it's a lot of fun i think it's a i think it's a it's a show that definitely has the visuals and, and enough action and enough humor to keep the kids entertained and i think parents especially those that are around my age that have some nostalgia in them about the original cartoon will find plenty to enjoy as well um, i don't think i don't think parents are going to find themselves overly bored um if you have no nostalgia of the original cartoon to bring with you, you there might not be a huge amount of things for you but overall i found this a highly enjoyable um family movie and exactly what i would want from a smurfs movie we don't need them in new york we don't need live action characters we just need a quality animated product and that's what this is so if you've seen smurfs the lost village what did you think about it are you a fan of the original cartoon what kind of nostalgia did you bring to this as always you can subscribe to my channel check out some other reviews and until next time i'll see you at the movies